Greetings. Today I'm going to talk about a very wholesome cultural anime. If you like vanilla and romance, then you should watch this anime. If you don't know where to watch it, Google and Incognito are your best friends. Before we start the recap, I just want to say that this anime is adapted from a visual novel. So, there are two routes in this anime, and this anime is going to focus on Ryo. The main character, Takuya, just finished medical school and started as an intern at the hospital. この天城大学病院で医師として第一歩を踏み出したばかりだ。そして整形外科での研修を終え、今日からは呼吸器内科での研修が始まる。そこで待っていたのは。The preceptor who was assigned to him was his senpai that he looked up to. Her name is Rio, and she seems to be angry because he never come to greet her all this time. Well, he is definitely going to come later, so I don't know what is she getting mad about. She told him that she will train him very hard, so he will be hard. After that, he asked her to cut him some slack. When they are having their lunch break, she noticed that his food is not healthy and told him that he should eat a balanced diet. To be honest, all he needs is just protein, and you guys should do the same too. Anyhow, he told her that he is not good at making food, and he has no time for that. What a miracle, she actually understands his situation and does not yell at him. Therefore, she is going to feed him some vegetable. She is not feeding him the usual way since she is feeding it using her organic homegrown melons. God, I wish that were me. By the way, not gonna lie, she can solve picky eating habit using that method. Too bad the editor can't do that. Moving on, she wants him to eat his vegetable, but he is reluctant. So, she helped him out by shoving his head onto her huge organic homegrown melons. Once again, God, I wish that were me. He actually managed to eat it in such a short time, and that made her sad. I wonder why. At night time, both of them are alone in her office, and she is going to give him some basic medical training. She wants him to remove his outer protective gear, because she needs to use the stethoscope on him. He knew that it is a standard operating procedure, so he has no choice but to do that. After that, it is his turn to do a checkup on her, and she also did the same. It seems like she advocates gender equality after all. He is reluctant at first, but as usual, this is just a standard medical procedure, so he has no choice but to check on her. During the checkup, she is also checking on him to increase efficiency. After a while, she noticed that something is rising, but it is not the shield hero. So, she unleashed the raging Excalibur from its scabbard and starts to pat it. Wait a second, I'm not sure if that is in the medical procedure. Anyways, she also wants him to use the stethoscope on her holy canal for medical purposes. After a while, she managed to trigger a biochemical reaction from him, and he used protein blast. As a result, that concludes the medical training for today. On the next day, he is chatting with a nurse. Her name is Mio, and she is his childhood friend. Well, this anime is not her route, so she is a side character now. When they are chatting, Ryo suddenly launched a surprise attack on Mio's great mountain for fun. You guys can do, never mind, don't do that in real life, or you will be cancelled. Anyways, Ryo is not stopping her attack, so Mio requested him for help. When he is going to remove Ryo's hands, she has Ultra Instinct and removed them at the last second. Therefore, he accidentally touched Mio's melon and that is a friendly fire. <laughs> At night time, he is still writing his report. Ryo came to check on him to see if he is done. She urged him to do it quickly. <laughs> After that, she sits beside him to supervise him. 
He could see her lower protective gear at that time. As a man of culture, he couldn't help but to stare at it. When he is staring at it, she called out to him and asked him where is he watching. Before he could answer, she rest her foot on his Excalibur for fun. Just as she expected, his Excalibur is already ready for battle. She wants to punish him for not concentrating on writing his report. So, she wants to play Stepping Simulator on his Excalibur. She also has Nisok equipped for bonus damage. Anyways, I don't think that is a punishment for him. During the punishment, she wants him to keep writing and focus on his report. Despite that, he couldn't concentrate on his report because her gameplay is too good. She used both of her feet for dual wield bonus, and she even insult him to deal emotional damage. <laughs> After a while, since he is a man of culture, he used Protein Blast in such a short time. After that, she wants him to finish the report when she goes to change. She even gave him her knee socks as a battle loot. On the next day, he is going to the linen room to change the bed sheet. When he is at there, he accidentally saw a nurse introducing fruit farming to a doctor. That is probably in the medical procedure somewhere, so he is observing them in 4K. Suddenly, Ryo came in and yelled at both of them for slacking while on duty. They become flustered and quickly ran away. After that, she got mad at him for taking too long. Well, he has no choice but to watch them to get more knowledge. <laughs> She asked him if he wants to get some on-field experience. He tries to refuse her, but she told him that she is not asking him. She is actually asking his 200 IQ Excalibur, and she found out that it is ready for battle. She informed him that he might not concentrate on his work later, so she wants to help him out. I guess he accepts her help in the end. She is marinating his Excalibur using her organic homegrown melons in the name of science. After that, she also starts to clean his Excalibur the eco-friendly way because she wants to sterilize his Excalibur to ensure that it is germ-free. Her climate-friendly sterilization is too advanced, so he couldn't hold back and deposited a lot of international currency in her in such a short time. I guess he can fully concentrate on his work later, and she will have a lot of energy too. Anyhow, it has been over a month since he worked under her. He realized that his feelings for her has grown even more than before. When he saw her sleeping on her desk, he wants to wake her up, but he stopped. He saw her sleeping face, so he gave her a kiss. When he is kissing her, she suddenly wakes up, and that caught both of them off guard. She looks quite mad at him, and he quickly apologized to her. He thought that she is going to report him to the authorities and cancel him. However, she gave him a kiss instead as a payback. He did not see that coming, but he will be coming later. After that, she gave him some unlimited dungeon battle pass, so he can explore her dungeon. Not gonna lie, shit just went from 0 to 100 real fucking quick. Anyways, she starts to play Piston Simulator 2023, and this is her first time getting her dungeon explored. After playing for a while, he wants to inject a lot of nutrient-rich protein shake into her, so she will become very healthy. You guys can do that in real life too, since I am doing the same to my editor. However, she managed to disconnect from the game at the last second. I guess that is not a part of his medical training after all. Ever since that day, their relationship has become even closer than before, both mentally and physically. When Mio entered the room, she is flustered because she saw Ryo giving him some facial therapy using her melons. Ryo suddenly dragged Mio into her room and start her attack on Mio. During that, there is a phone call and it is for Ryo. Hi, hi. Hi. もしもし。えっと、それで何の用？あ、うん、急ぎじゃないから。また後で。先輩が結婚？これからお見合いするみたいだけど、実質もう決まってるらしいよ。
After that, Mio is chatting with him alone outside, and she told him that Rio is going to get married soon. It is an arranged marriage, and it was decided by her family. It seems like he knew about this before, but he is not sure about it. Now, he has learned the truth, so he went to meet Rio. He suddenly confessed his feelings to her and proposed to her. Senpai, She is shocked after hearing that. However, she told him that this marriage is already decided by her household, and her feelings does not matter. Despite that, he told her that her feelings matter, and he keeps confessing his love to her. That made her embarrassed, and he wants to know about her feelings toward him. As expected, she also loves him. After that, he suddenly told her that he wants her to get pregnant with his child. If they have a child, then her household will not oppose their marriage. Not gonna lie, that is some big brain big balls moves right there. She is still hesitating, so he assured her that everything will work out in the end. As a result, she agreed with his idea and wants to have some protein time. He is exploring her dungeon without wearing any protective gear since he is actually a Sigma. Their protein time lasts about two minutes in the anime and he gave her a lot of fresh organic protein to seal the deal. どれが当たりだったかはわからないが、量は見事に解任。それでも、不要曲折あったものの、俺たちは目立たく結婚し、念願の小児科員も開業することができた。after that wholesome scenario, she actually got pregnant, and both of them got married in the end. Fortunately, there is not much opposition from her household, and it is a happy marriage. In addition, he opened his own clinic, and both Rio and Mio are working there too. <laughs> now, that is a wholesome happy ending right there. Well, that is the end of my recap for this cultural anime. This anime has one episode only. As I said before, this anime is adapted from visual novel, so there is actually two routes, one of them is Ryo, and the other is Mio. Takuya is not two timing since those are completely different routes. These are the comments and feedback for this anime from a cultural website. So, what do you guys think about the romance and plot in this anime? Let me know in the comment section below after you watched it alone, or with your families, since this is actually very wholesome.